Hello, go with the, the juvenile, the young one. He is one of the two monkeys that has arrived since I've been here that aren't babies. Um, he arrived with one of the babies, Matty Jr. Um, suspected abuse for both of them. We don't know. We don't know their stories for sure. Um, we also suspect Arlo might be castrated. We can't see any balls right now. Um, but sometimes when they're young, they're hard to see. There's a potential he's not, but it's very likely that he is. But we are still going to hopefully try and integrate him into the troop. So when we do integrations, he's a bit older than Mika. So the process for him will be a little bit different. Um, he has to live beside the troop for at least maybe six months. And that's just so he can observe the troop and the troop can observe him. And they start to learn their behavior as he starts to see who's the alpha, who are the low rankers, who does he need to be careful of, who can he play with and we want him to have that information before we start letting monkeys in and then he doesn't make a mistake and try and slap the alpha or something and get hurt. So that's the stage he's in right now. Um, every time I come by I'll note who's at the fence, see if he's making friends with anyone. One of the females in here, um, Digit, sits at the fence with him a lot, grooms him. Um, he's also touching the juveniles through the fence quite a lot so those are really good signs that he's, you know, learning about the troop and he's seeing who he can be friends with and that maybe we will be able to integrate him. Um, the concern with him is that if he is castrated then his integration needs to happen while he's still young because the older he gets the more of a problem that's going to be. So hopefully when Mika's done and when he's been here long enough to have the information he needs then the process will start. I don't know when that's going to be again with the amount of people we have. I don't know. Um, I really hope that it can go soon because he's a really good potential integration, so fingers crossed. And uh, when you say abuse, what, what, uh, can you be more specific? What does it mean if you say abuse? We don't know. It's just, to be honest, the fact that he is castrated um, often indicates some sort of power that someone wanted over him. Um, and they just weren't in good condition when they got here. For example, Matty Jr. was so dehydrated it took us days of giving him fluids every few hours and actually, you know, injecting all the fluids into him before he could even function normally. So, it's just when they come in in a bad state, that's what our minds go to. That's the most likely scenario. But, again, we don't know. And it's, it's frustrating to not know because the more information we have, the easier it is for us to help them, but... Yeah. Abuse monkey, I would understand when you, you got a, a small monkey as a pet, okay, mm -hmm. you, you get it wrong, so you get attached with it, and then suddenly it becomes older, mm -hmm. bigger, but this one is still pretty young. He so is, and when Matty There's no reason to beat it re no. really with a big stick, like uh, no. it's not a potential but danger. But it's like a game. Huh? Yeah. It's like people do it to puppies, you yes. know? There's no reason. It's, it's a game. Uh, one day yeah. you don't want to play with this game, you will throw it up. Or you yeah, you, you know, so <laughs> you, no, yeah, but you don't beat it. Some people oh, have yes. problems. They come home, they've had a bad day. They yes. need something to take their frustration out that's not going to fight back. And, but know, those type of guys wouldn't have a monkey, a pet monkey anyway. Here? Really? Oh, mm -hmm. here. I mean, the exotic pet trade is very bad here. And it's not uncommon for someone who maybe has some problems like that to be able to get their hands on a monkey. It's not too difficult for them. And that's why we have so many monkeys here. You know, the majority of the monkeys here are expats or have been rescued from that kind of situation. So. Unfortunately, but a guy, a, a bad guy, wouldn't have a monkey. I would say, yeah. probably the, the, the expats come from families, no? It's not from lonely people. Not what, always. Is there old people? I mean, sometimes people think if they are lonely, a monkey is a bit closer to a human. They're going to give them that kind of companionship. That's right. Or um, because they're viewed as such pests here, they're almost you know something viewed as vermin. So if you want something to beat up on then you're going to take something that everyone already thinks is a disgusting kind of animal, you know? So, 
so I mean I can't understand it I can't put myself into that headspace but so it's a, a reality yeah but he's doing really really well here and he's here which is the important thing and yeah we just have to keep I think with the outreach and with the education and telling people why they don't make good pets in the first place that targets the families like you said that get them for their children they need to understand why that's not okay and then people need to understand they're not vermin they're not just things you can beat up on and they're not weak defenseless animals because you know some people take them in when you see Arlo you could see how someone would think he's weak and they could beat him up but then he turns into Keezy and he's big and he has canines and they need to get rid of him because they can't beat him up anymore you know and it's not always it's not always that people have beat them up people genuinely love them as well and treat them as part of their family but then they get too strong their instincts kick in they get their canine teeth they bite their children you know and I think some people have been really really torn apart bringing the monkeys here we've got people crying handing over monkeys but they're doing the right thing so, and we just if people come like that we like to show them monkeys that we can get into troops and be like hopefully this is going to be the future for your pet and mo most of the time it is I mean it seems we have a lot of intro cage monkeys top section has the most but considering how many monkeys we have in troops it's really a very small percentage And when it, it happens that a human becomes to uh, a pet monkey the alpha. Yeah. So exactly. uh, maybe in that case, it's, in a way, it's better because uh, there aren't too too much fighting between uh, the monkey and the, the human. But even in play, because this is this is what yeah. happens for dogs. Yeah. This is, the they question. can. But the instincts from monkeys are very different and. A young monkey or a low-ranking monkey will still bite an alpha monkey in play or during grooming they'll scratch too hard you know it's very easy for them to hurt without that being their intention at all and it's very easy if a alpha you'll see it in the troops an alpha goes to put a low ranker in their place by you know hitting them or pushing them back the low ranker doesn't always just take it you know they'll swipe back and okay, then they'll so submit the, the, the challenging process is maybe longer for the monkeys and mm -hmm. like an ongoing process yeah while for dogs when it's established it, it's it stays pretty much for, it yeah for, for, forever but no because yeah males particularly they're always working their way up and challenging the hierarchy challenging the status and like I said, even just play, you sometimes see the bandits play and they're tearing at each other's skin. It can look like they're fighting and they're not. But if they did that to a human, it would hurt of course, them. Of course. So, yeah, it's not always that the monkey is being aggressive. And monkeys can just flip. You see a low ranker, something startles them and they just bite the nearest monkey to them. It doesn't matter if they're the alpha and then they'll get put in their place, but they'll still bite in the first place, you know? Okay. She is one that we also groom because she's so used to human attention that taking everything away from her is not fair for her. And she has a lot of behavioral problems. Yeah, we can see that. Yeah. She doesn't get on with other monkeys. She is one that we tried to introduce to both Eddie and Keezy. Just fought the entire time. Um, actually, the reason her tail is short is Eddie <laughs> during one of their fights. And she's, uh, she's just a very difficult personality. You can see this chest rubbing, it's one of her abnormal behaviours, that she's constantly craving human attention and grooms and she doesn't know how to get that from monkeys or how to give that to monkeys. And she also um, had a lot of health issues, so was in sickbay for a long time, so was around humans a lot then, which only really makes things worse. So, she's a special case. <laughs> So Appy, again, expat, one of the more humanized. Her and Rocio are probably the most humanized on site. Um, very, very difficult to place with a male or female companion. But eventually we found Jamba. Jamba couldn't be integrated into the troop because he had a problem with his hip. He couldn't move properly. Um, he actually had, I think it was a ball and socket removed in his hip. And eventually recovered from the surgery. He moves a lot better now. But he got to the stage where he was very old, integrating him would be very difficult, and he's the only monkey we found that gets on with Appy. Mm. 
so the two of them stay together. Why do they have a battle here? Um, because Appy is very old, she's very prone mm. to illness, so she, the meds team come by every morning, they give her some meds, and there's ginger tea in there, which helps her hydration. Yeah. So if she's feeling particularly dehydrated, then she drinks some that. She also just loves it. <laughs> it's really sweet seeing her drink from it. But she's, um, she's had heat stroke a couple times I've been here, she gets tooth abscesses, um, she's just... A very old lady, so anytime she doesn't look good or she's lying down. Is she old, this one? Yeah. She doesn't look old. Oh, she's old. <laughs> she's very old. Um, if she's ever sitting at the fence and you can smell like bad breath or anything, mm -hmm. you can let me know because that's a sign of a tooth abscess, which she mm -hmm. does get. So, But no, she's very old. They're both quite old, these two. And they do... Um, he is very dominant. They do have fights. He puts her in her place, but it's not unnatural. It's how a relationship is sort of between a male and a female. So if you see that, you don't have to panic about it. But let me know if you think they're having particularly aggressive fights or if you think she's going to get hurt. He's never in his life hurt her, but I like to keep an eye on it just in case. Because again, she's a very difficult personality. She winds monkeys up a lot. <laughs> uh. Okay. And we have a water bowl just down here. Probably do the bottom of the middle bit.